Hey folks, Brett Palmer here with the Outdoors of Delta TV, and I'm here with Aaron Click from Tackle HD, and uh, they've, uh, uh, they've took us out on the Merrimack River today. We've uh, we've already caught some good smallmouth, and uh, he's going to talk to us a little about this incredible bait that I've, you know, I've been a bass fisherman my whole life, and I've fished crawls, I've fished imitations. I've never seen anything like this before, and uh, we're going to let Aaron tell us a little bit about the history of the company, like when, like, how'd you guys get this started? Um, probably about four years ago, me, uh, my name's Aaron Click, and then Scott Drockelman, Mitch Fields, and Paul Meese all met on a fishing forum, like an online, yeah. not quite like a uh, dating service, but a place where fishermen go and talk about yeah. fishing stuff. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Get that off. <laughs> so we met on this online forum, and uh, I guess somehow we just kind of all got to blabbing online, and next thing you know, we're fishing. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, Mitch is... You know, Mitch Fields had actually already invented this all on his own and made this bait. And next, right. But, you know, he started kind of pawning them off on us and mm -hmm. getting us to fish him. And I'll be honest, I just fell in love with it. Well, look at it. I mean, it looks like a... I mean, it, it's a crawdad. It's yeah. a live crawdad once you put it on and make it move. But, uh, you know, it's... once I fell in love with it, you know, I guess my passion and all of our passion kind of pull together mm -hmm. you know for loving to fish so much and uh, next thing you know is Mitch's idea to come up and make this company that, that jig head what I've used it is like it, it's almost like it's a perfect balance I, I mean it's made for this crawl yeah right? that's exactly they're married together now you could you can I've thrown grubs I've thrown a lot of stuff on this mm -hmm. you know it's just like a jig head but it's specially made for our crawl as far as how it fits under the tail and uh, our craw is made for the jig head because it's got a slit in the tail for that double wire weed guard it just perfectly fit yeah. in there and the weed guard if i understand right like like you know when you fish around rocks you get hung up a lot right the now, weed guard keeps that from turning off it kind of keeps it right. upright with that sand right. hook now, right out now the when we're fishing rocks we like to kind of spread it and keep it up a little bit mm -hmm. and then when we get in the wood if we know we're going to stay in the wood we like to uh, bring them down and okay. get them closer like that, and then you could just throw it right in the thickest stuff and just weasel we, it right out. We, we've, he's had me throwing into some really thick stuff today, and I was like, boy, I'm fixing to lose this crawl. And I've had the same crawl since I started this morning. I mean, yeah. it, it's... It's not uncommon yeah. to fish with one all day. It's like a crankbait, in my mm -hmm. opinion. You can fish with it all day and catch... I've caught up to 28 smallmouth on one of these, and you know oh, how violent yeah. they are. Well, so, but it's an awesome bait. I don't. I, anybody who uh, is used to fishing a jig or that type of bait, they should catch right on to fishing it and just catching big fish. Yeah, it, it's it's a big fish bait, and a, you know, a, a, our big fish that we've caught. So we're not done fishing yet. We're fixing to go back. We got a little time left. We got a little time left. Holes. But we're uh, but the big fish of the day. He he caught on this this morning right off the bat. Nice, beautiful, seventeen inch fish, and just a. Just an incredible bait y'all have here. And right. Uh, and so we do have, we have another version of this that's not out yet. It's not quite ready. It's just a smaller version. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's deadly. Yeah, that... that it's deadly. That'd but be a the, creek bait. Right. Know. Now, this one, generally, the size of it, it just catches mostly your bigger size fish. But right. when you throw the other one, it's going to be comparable to a lot of other, you know... I don't want to compare it to a Ned, but it's going to catch a lot of the whole everything big mm -hmm. to little the one thing i noticed when, when you thread these the jig head in there it's like you, you, it's hard it's hard to put in but it's like yeah. I've, I've i'm the same i've had fish you know i've had one fish the other day uh, bit the pincher off but it didn't pull the it didn't pull this off it stayed on the jig head and they've got that extra plastic right there yeah the bottom side uh, is actually a def different density than the top tops okay. is softer mm -hmm. the bottom has hardener in it we put extra hardener in the bottom where the jig head runs through yeah. It hangs on. I mean, I mean, it'll hang on all day. I mean, this thing has been four years in the works. They've they've been fine tuning this thing, and uh, and I've known Mitch. I know when he started working with them, and and I mean, they have perfected this thing. It, it's just a it's just a yeah. phenomenal bait. So, uh, so y'all check them out. Uh, TackleHD.com. Check them out on all the social the main three social medias, and you're going to be seeing more over here on Outdoors of Delta TV. We'll post a link uh, uh, right here where you can. Uh, check them out and call them and uh, check them out on their website so uh, i appreciate it aaron no problem we're not done fishing we're not let's, done we're gonna, get, a big we're gonna get back on the water so y'all stay tuned we'll be right back 